So again, it's Priscilla Batso in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I am teaching myself how to do some ring pours the right way, which is the color you want to see in the center goes in first. So the last time I came kind of close, only I started with white. And I'm going to do two cups this time. Whoop, you know what? I'm going to do two cups this time and try and pour them out the right way. And I am going to put some yellow in this other one. And I'm finding when I use lighter colors, if I use them next to white, I have a much better chance of them actually turning out to be what I want. Staying bright, I mean vibrant. Also, the white paint layered in between the stripes doesn't seem to show up. It just helps move the rest of the paint, which is pretty cool to know. And I don't know why I didn't realize it before. I do want these two to be different than each other. And I do also want a bunch of yellow and orange and purple. And I want to use some gold. I have some Arteza gold left. That looks like a plug. I'm not sure if that's a plug or not, but I think it might be. And so I'm just going to shove something in there. Bamboo skewers are great for that. And I haven't been very good lately. Okay, there's some gold. And I'm going to... I'm going to straighten out my pour over here because I didn't do that the right way. Wow. I wanted some black in last time and I didn't put it in. So I'm just going to put some in. And I'm changing up my, my colors in the second cup. And that's okay with me too. I want them to be different looking. And they will be just that. I want darker purple. Let's make sure. What else do I want in there? I want some more white. And I want some bright orange. I really like making multiple rings in my ring pours. One is frustrating for me, but five works much better. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think to continue with the white is a very good idea. First in, last out. Last in, first out. And it spreads. The yellow is fine. Yeah, I think I can do that. Let's just add a little more. And go for the orange. Okay, one cup down. One cup to finish. I said I like the black. So I'm going to give myself a chance to have some. And change my colors up a little bit. Where is my neon folk art? I'm not being that gentle. Oh, my dog thinks it's time to play. I have rubber mats in my studio. If you watch the studio tour, where you can, by the way, until December 5th at midnight, win a chance to pick a painting. I have rubber mats in my studio and my dog likes to um, put his rock that he wants to chase down on them and use his always too long claws to dig it up. It's very distracting. But that's okay. I'll be fine. Alright, I don't want to lose that blue, which to me means get busy and add some more layers. What do I want to come out last? I have some beautiful turquoise. I have some color shift. Ooh, the sun is out again. It's been a cold day here in Florida on Thanksgiving Day. This is my third painting, and I'm having a good time. I'm going to use that blue because I can. It's a metallic blue. It's a little different. I want something else in there, too. Yes, that is what I wanted. Good. And I like that also. I don't really want to lose it. If I like the one cup enough, I won't worry about doing anything else. And I'm almost done, and that's a good thing because we've got 12 or 13 minutes left. So, 
In order to facilitate time, before this started, I added white paint. wasn't sure how long it would take me, but uh, this is my OXO omelet turning spatula. And it looks like everything is pretty well covered with white paint. A nice thin layer. I don't want super, super gloppy excess. Now, I've been thinking about this ring pour thing, and I did a bunch of ring pours around the outside of a larger one. And I want to try and put the smaller ones down first. That goes in a bucket. The bucket goes into anything but your house pipes. Um, so I'm going to, I may put some more orange in this after a while. I'm going to put some small rings. around. Where I'm going to plan on putting the bigger ring. That needs some other color in there. I think it needs some dark blue. And that's what I'm going to do with it. Purple and a little dark blue. All right, I'm mo moving on to the second cup. And I maybe should have decided on a little less. No, maybe not. I think I'm all set. I've never tried this ring around the outside before. If that's even what I want to call it. That black was a lot of black. I think I'm just going to let them interfere with each other. Because I can. I'm inclined to put those two cups of paint together. But I think we're ready. I think I'm going to take a quick torch to that. That will often release some cells, and if I release some cells in the fresh paint, then I can stretch the shells, cells. If I get the paint too warm, it will set up the surface. We have something interesting happening here. A bunch of different interesting colors. And no idea how they're going to work. Interfering with each other like that. They may even fill in the center. Hard to say what's going to happen. Usually I would fill in the little divots in between. Maybe I should do that. Maybe that won't hurt anything. Not that there are very many of them. I kind of feel like I need a new edge catcher. Edge catchers are just something to stop the paint from rolling over. And they are created from the protective layer inside a package of a bulk package of Artist Loft canvases from Michaels. Yeah, I'm just going to add a little ring all the way around the outside, which will probably disappear. But it makes me want some orange in the middle. So I'm going to do that right now. Before it gets any later in this process. Oh, there's some pretty leopard print cells forming in the bottom of that cup. I'm going to have some paint left. So I tipped for a while first. Got some nice cells in there. It might be that I that having all those ring pores in a very even pattern might not be what I really want. But I guess we'll find out together. I would like a larger uh, edge catcher. What did I do with it? It's over here. <laughs> And I'm not going to wind up using that. I'm going to have to use something that I don't want to use. Because I like what I've got on that edge catcher so much. So I'm going to try not to use the whole part. And I'm going to let that just fall right over. And pull and push it back again. I'm also going to let it go to the bottom.
falling right down that way. And push that back again. I'm going to use that paint that's right there on that edge catcher and shove it off into that corner. This is cool. Ah, I, I like this experiment. All right, that's going up there. I'm just going to let it roll right down all the way to the corner. Follow it whoop, whoop, a little further than I wanted to go. I rock that edge catcher back and forth to cover the edges of my canvas. I might regret having given up all that white. I kind of liked having some negative space. Try not to be anywhere near those holes. <laughs> okay, let it flow back onto the canvas and down into the design. That is something cool. We got some nice, nice, huge cells going on here. I could leave that, I could leave that headed to that edge very easily. It's very tempting. I think I'm going to let... Squeeze the paint back over. Boy, I really like this edge down here. I like the black edge a lot. That's very tempting. Wow. Not as thrilled about this end, but it's still got pretty patterns in it. Bubble? Maybe. Try to keep my fingers. I'll put that edge catcher down so I'm not distracted by it. I love this pink stripe over here. I love a lot of things that are happening. I just don't want to lose all that. And I can always edge it in black, which I don't think is going to hurt my feelings at all. I know where I want things to go for the most part. I'm going to recenter my paint. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures. That is to keep the heavy paint, when it's heavy like this, from cracking. We already torched once lightly. I have some paint on my hands. I'm going to rinse it off. And my arm, to tell you the truth, all the way up that arm. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do because I like that black edge. And it still has a pretty good chance of bleeding into the into the white nicely. I'm gonna have to do another quick painting after this just to get rid of my paint. I think I'd like to cover that schmutzy black fingerprint I put there. And other than that, I think I'm gonna wipe off my skewer. And just use it to guide some paint over the edge. And the black and white paint often makes cells, so... I'm just going to sort of ruffle that edge a little bit so it looks a little more organic than it did. And I'm also going to break up that hard line on the edge there. That's going to make, make me happy. I like combining black and white a lot lately. That's kind of odd. I'm kind of thinking that I need that to go over the edge now, which is easy enough to do. I'm wondering if maybe I should just fill that whole area in with black, but I like it, <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. It has an upside, I guess. don't mind it. I'm not sure if it's the upside to you guys or not. I don't know how much of that you can see actually, but that is pretty cool. I'm happy with that. I wonder if I want... I didn't wonder long, did I? <laughs> uh, 
I wonder if I want some orange up there as she puts it in place. Yeah. I'm just going to leave that. And torch. One more time. we got two minutes left to tell you if you like the YouTube artworks that I've done. We torched to release the bubbles, by the way. I think I mentioned that already in this video. You can find everything that I've so far edited the pictures of. I, I shoot in RAW, so it takes me some time to get the pictures right. But Volumes 1 and 2 of the Facebook albums that contain the YouTube artworks are at the bottom of the description under the video, along with my Pinterest board link and my Instagram account link. Above that is the recipe in the main body of the description. Also, Patreon and PayPal links if you want to be a, you want to donate to help keep the studio cranking. I really appreciate the contributions. This is my only job, so it helps me buy art supplies and just generally not have to scrimp quite so, so much for what I need. And right now, if you decide to contribute, you will be included in a contest that I will decide on December, after December 5th at midnight and announce on December 8th, trying to focus and work at the same time. I just want a little more of that down that way. Kind of want, yeah. Yes, I'm using my fingers. Yes, we have two minutes left. That's better. I like that a little better. Um, better still? I think I introduced you guys to my Princeton Catalyst art tool spatulas. If I didn't, I want to tell you that they are on the Amazon link under my video, along with the Teespring apparel that you can see. You can click on any one of those pieces of apparel and, uh, and it'll lead you to my store. But these are awesome. Princeton Catalyst art tool spatula, silicone spatulas. They do a marvelous job of moving paint and I love them. I'd like to have a brand partnership with them if they're listening. <laughs> that would be awesome. I never stop advertising for them because I want you guys to know that they're awesome. So, I'm pretty well done, in my opinion, and I like how my ring pours come out. Um, I have another couple of bottoms of cups, and I'll add some more colors to that and do one more and call it good for the day. I want to thank all my contrib contributors who have kept me painting so far. I really appreciate that. I need you guys to give me a thumbs up if, you, if you're willing, if you appreciate what you see. It helps me out a lot if you give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I do sell my artwork. Um, that's what's in the wet and dry albums. Actually, I sell all my artwork, and there's lots of albums on Facebook. There are two groups. There's Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors, and that's where those volumes are are found. And there's Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, which is where all the people who are playing with my methods are going and uh, hanging out with each other and sharing their work and having a good time, generally. That's bugging me. I want that to go right there. Yes, I do. <laughs> And I do stuff because I can. And that is the slogan on a lot of the t-shirts that are on the Teespring link that's below the video. If you shop my Amazon link, it will help me out at no added cost to you. And I really appreciate that. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I love you guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. Please come again. Talk to you soon.